and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crypt of the Necrodancer. This is a game that was highly recommended to me, or suggested, or whatever, whatever terminology it is you use for people in the comment section saying, please play this game. That's now what I'm doing. Just in case you weren't aware, you have to move to the rhythm. Like, look, I'm trying to move and I can't. You have to move to the rhythm. Have you heard this music, by the way? Goodness grief, I love this shit. When you refer to a rhythm game as keeping the beat in a life or death situation game, you chose to use a heart as the thing to sink the middle point. I f <laughs> There are a lot of things to appreciate in this game. Come on, why don't you dance with me? Make with the goods, get down with the boogie. Whoever designed the goddamn music for th what is that giant harpsichord looking motherfucker? Bloody hell. Am I dying? I've got one heart left. That's not good. <laughs> considering the item I just got, and the fact I haven't heard all too many good things about this game, as in, I just haven't heard anything about it all too much besides the comment section, you could refer to this little gem of a game as a diamond in the rough. I, honest to god, adore this game. The concept. The execution. <laughs> considering the design of the enemies, execution. Oh my god, I've had to shovel this entire time and I've just been able to destroy these walls. Wow. I am dumb. I would like to meet the person that made this game and give them the heartiest of fucking handshakes. Because this is just brilliant in every goddamn way. I mean, I'm not. I'm officially the goddamn poster child for murder on the dance floor. <gasps> did I find a secret? Please tell me I found a secret of some kind. <gasps> I did, or at least I found an extra path. I quite literally uncovered a hidden gem, and I keep making that damn joke about this game because people kept recommending this to me like a thousand times and I kept looking at it as if it was gonna be nothing special and yet now I've picked it up and played it. This. This is so fun and unique and different! There we go, I've got the blood broadsword again. A uh, broadsword. I'm sorry, I'm not a sexist man, but I'm playing as a female, I just got the broad sword. You can't not find that funny at least a little bit. That's like playing as a goddamn rooster and then getting the chick magnet award. That's a giant goddamn dragon. Just gonna leave that there. Bloody hell, that worked wonders. <laughs> And of course I lose my coin multiplier when there's a giant bloody stash of it right in front of me. Knobs. Oh, that was a trap. Oh, dear God. Every time, you'd think I'd understand what a bloody trap would be. Anything other than bloody brightly lit treasure and chests. But no, no, no. That is, that I just jump on anything. Like an obvious trap door. I think it's safe to say when it came to that little trap, they dropped the base. the most amazing thing I've ever seen. The shopkeeper sings. <laughs> I love this game. I seriously do. Damn it! That guy has killed me so many times, he's practically harping on me. Every opportunity that he gets. There's gotta be something I can do with this damn box. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm convinced if I take it to this guy, something's gonna happen. Let's see if I can kill the shopkeeper. <gasps> I can fight the shopkeeper. I regret that, because I quite liked his singing. Sorry to offend you, my boy. What on earth is this? Oh. I almost killed myself. I'm actually almost dead now. I... <laughs> it's a shrine of blood that apparently can drop you something cool, but... As said, nearly dead. May not live to reap the rewards of this, really. Seriously, considering how much I bloody suck at this, the fact I'm still playing, I must be raving mad. I am one hit away from... Death. You could say I was, in fact, a... <laughs> One hit wonder, given the musical connotation to this goddamn game. I mean, this is a rhythm based dungeon crawler. I chick. The amount of times I've come so close to death, this is more of a goddamn thriller. Oh, I was right next to a bloody diamond! <sighs> I mean, it doesn't matter how much I play this, I can play it to my heart's content. I'm still. Still gonna get the shit beat out of me. I wonder if I can bomb these boxes and get something out of them. You sure can! Okay, I'm just going to have to pitch you an idea that you don't beat the shit out of me. Bloody hell, that was close. That was a bomb trap. Note to self, use that against the enemies when possible. Don't just walk on it willy-nilly as if you're going to be able to walk out of that alive. While it isn't necessarily a form of dancing, with the bloody rage-inducing bollocks I've been going through with this as I'm so goddamn terrible at it, I think an appropriate thing to call it would be me head-banging against a goddamn wall. Is that a giant? That's a giant dragon. You can have that bomb if you like. 
suck my knob. The fact I can hear him singing in the background the entire time is brilliant to me. I mean, just truly brilliant. I need one more kill and then something will happen. So can you find fellas like, come over here so I can kill you? For like a good five minutes at a time, I just keep listening to this music because it's just so good. Whoever designed the sound for this game, you deserve a goddamn award. Although considering the dancing theme, I can't help but think that there should be a Banjo and Kazooie Easter egg in the form of finding a Jiggy. Oh, I sincerely suck at this. I've been playing it for like 30 minutes, made no real progress at all. No substantial achievements have been made or unlocked. I've just gotten my shit pushed in. I mean, you could say that my heart is in the right place, but unfortunately I'm getting the beat in all the wrong ways. Oh god, I should have saved the bomb for the dragon. <laughs> yes, I killed it! Oh my god, I even unlocked something apparently. Fantastic. <gasps> I just got a diamond in the dirt! That's, that is literally a diamond in the rough. I made a joke about it earlier and I actually ended up finding it by the end. Why can't I, why can't I fight this thing? Can, can I only run from this guy? I was under the impression I could kill him. Apparently I can only outrun him. That would explain why I've died to him so many times. Mm. There was a spike trap there and it somehow didn't hit me. I'm very happy. What the? Why didn't it? Oh, I realized what I did. I threw my actual main weapon. I didn't have a throwable. I just threw my actual. <laughs> For the love of God! Whoa! I got hit and everybody froze. All right, stop. Hammer time. <laughs> I guess we're gonna make dancing jokes when the big old bloody fire-breathing dragon could be Pete Burns. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the hundredth time I have made a Pete Burns joke. I just got killed by something that was b b b bear to the bone. God damn it. You should probably know, by the way, I've been like kind of bouncing in my... <laughs> I'm bouncing in my seat with every single beat of this goddamn... This game is so... Oddly infectious for happiness, despite the fact that I've been losing this entire time. And accomplishing near to nothing. You see, if this were a mix of Teddy Terror and, well, this, then I'd be able to lure those goddamn things onto the traps themselves and then they fall through and fuck themselves. It wouldn't be a one-way street of pain for just yours truly. Game is so happy and jolly. I haven't been able to stop playing it. I've been, I'm completely aware of how bad I've been doing and how little I've done and how shit that I am and how much I should give up, but I just don't want to. It's too fun. It's too fun to stop playing. For me, this is honestly like another Regario. I mean, there's nothing like it gameplay-wise, but the, the I just can't put it down attitude? Yeah. Pretty much same deal for me. <gasps> oh, don't you dare kill me now. Don't. I need to find the sharp so I can get something good, please. Oh, well, would you look at that? I've got a coupon and everything. Um, I need that. I need that. How do, how do I use the coupon? I have it. Oh, I, I used it. Cracking. Don't you dare kill me. I need to get to that guy and unlock him. I unlocked someone. I don't know who and I don't know what he does and I don't know why, but... Shit. I unlocked the... Boss master? Oh, I wanted to unlock some of the bosses, but you have to pay for them. I unlocked you. Why did I free you if you're not even going to give me any of your services for free? Jesus Christ, you saved somebody's life. They don't even give you one. They don't give you a single freebie. Honestly, considering how much I suck at this game, it isn't the tempo you need to worry about. It's my temper. Wait, I've just suddenly realized I'm doing all this digging the entire goddamn time in a game about dancing. I'm not Shovel Knight, this is Boogie Knight! This is Saturday Shovel Knight Fever! God, two jokes for the price of one. You think you're surprised? I didn't even think of that until the exact second it came out of my mouth. First one, pre-prepared. The next one, Jesus Christ, my brain! Mmm, <sighs> fucking skeletons. Seeing as he's made nothing but goddamn bones, I'd love to go break dancing with him. Oh my god, I'm about to die again. Shocking. Fuck. If you want to talk about somebody well known for dancing and me being shocked at that fucking result, that was John Travolta. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be ending the episode. I've wanted to be playing different games for like all month, but I had no money and I finally got paid. So now I'm able to just play whatever because I can buy the damn thing. So I hope you don't mind me going out of the usual norm and doing things differently for a couple of days. As a content creator, the variety of the content itself is pretty important. It really helps make better things, I don't know if you've noticed. Binding of Isaac seems to be the exception to the rule, as <laughs> that's the one thing I seem to be able to make good stuff with regardless of how bloody long I've been playing it. 
But anyway, please do remember that you continue to interest in enthusiasm and support for a series such as this will keep it alive and well. So remember to broadcast it to me by liking the video and any other way you see fit. I am going to have to recommend to you that you watch Tomato Gaming because his content is fantastic and he recently did a Nagario video. I noticed mine blew up with interest, so if you enjoyed that, then go and watch his. His is a little bit more creative than mine. And if you enjoy reaction videos and funny skits and comedy bits, then Chad Tronic is the guy for you. He makes that style of comedy, and I actually think he <laughs> nails it and knocks it out of the park every time. I'm consistently looking forward to his next upload, so I recommend you give the guy a chance. And last but least, but not in a bad way, we have Heart Bros. A channel comprised of funny, charming, and insane individuals that I recommend you give a chance to, because they deserve it. They somehow still have less than a thousand subscribers, and they have the content quality of around 20 to 30,000. And one final thing, I humbly request you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my alternate channel, because there's something on all of those for all of you. But the side, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this, and do indeed want to see more of it, and assuming that you do, please do like the video to let me know, and assuming that you did, then I think it's safe to say that considering the infectious nature of this game, and just how often I managed to fall into defeat, I guess you could say that I most certainly got down with the sickness. Oh, ah, ah, ah. How about that? That joke actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> now he's being arrogant, tooting your own horn. Nobody likes that guy. Put the horn down and go to bed. No supper.